Hi everybody, this is Caroline McQueen and we are with Evergreen Remodels. We live in one of the most beautiful areas in the world, but let's face it, a lot of our houses need updates. Today I have such a special treat for you. We are at Caitlin's house in Soda Creek. She has transformed this house. It's unbelievable. So I can't wait to show you the house and introduce you to Caitlin and let's get started. This is the front of the home before the remodel. Notice the paint color in the garage door. The new paint and garage doors make a substantial difference, bringing this house from 1980 to 2021. Here is the original foyer with tile, carpet stairs, and wood door. The owners put in this gorgeous glass door, worked around all the incredible rock, and added this amazing light fixture. Carpet was removed and these wood and metal stairs were added. Tile was replaced with rift and quarter sawn oak hardwoods and this ridiculously cool wine closet replaced an old coat closet. This was the formal living room with carpet, beige window coverings, and natural wood beams. Look at those beautiful hardwoods. New paint, lots of great furniture Caitlin picked out with her designer new window coverings, keeping the rock fireplace which is such a statement and I love how they painted the ceiling. Let's meet Caitlin, a registered nurse turned wellness coach. She's getting her real estate license and will soon be the second best in town. This is Caitlin. Thank you so much for letting us into your house and kind of walking us through what you did and kind of talk to us about the whole process. Of course, it's fun. <laughs> so when you remodel you just have to be flexible and not let things ruffle you never know what you're gonna find. Like, what is structural? What is instructional? Is there plumbing in the walls? Is there not? Shortly after buying the home, Caitlin put in new carpet, wooden metal stairs, and hardwoods on the main level. They weren't planning on remodeling the whole house, but then they attempted to update the kitchen themselves. This was a disaster, and at that point, they brought in a designer. After his consultation and brilliant ideas, they decided to do a lot more work to the house. All right, let's get to one of the most important rooms in the house, the kitchen. This kitchen was absolutely lovely in the 80s and 90s. Caitlin wanted an informal breakfast area, and this is just gorgeous, with a huge rock wall, fabulous light fixture, and table from a boutique in Arizona. Okay, so here is the new kitchen in all of its glory, but wait, you have to remember this. See the wall with the refrigerator and stove? That has been completely knocked down in order to open the kitchen up. I love her light fixtures, the cherry Baltic cabinets, porcelain tile floor, and GE Cafe appliances. We in our last house did leather countertops, and I always love the feel of that. So these are actually twill and they're quartzite, so they're etched a little bit different, kind of like a twill pattern would be in clothing. Here's a picture of the previous dining room. Here's the new dining room. The owners actually put in hardwoods here, but ripped them up after the designer wanted to pull the porcelain tile all the way through. We only have so much time, so let's jump to the previous master bedroom with beige paint and carpet. I love this bed. They nailed it with the white paint, darker carpet, and designer artwork. Okay, is everybody ready for the previous bathroom? Brown marble, Studio 54 lighting, and Miami Vice tile. Master, um, I think one thing that I love is that I would never have thought about a glass barn door. Um, obsessed. Yes, so we got that. And then you'll see in the before and afters, this was like totally brown marble and mirrors everywhere with kind of like dressing room bulby lights. So he did such a great job of using kind of a strange long space and making it feel really spa-like. And I would never have thought like to put the glass all through. We may at some point come in and frost some of it. Um, but having the full rectangular square with the steam shower um, and then my requirement was the soaking tub <laughs> requirement. <laughs> with the window and then he just like brought in that I love the nature so surprised me with the picture and I love this piece oh yeah did he pick that out he did just a fun way to get some storage need this guy. would you say that there is a theme to the house. It's industrial, but it's earthy. You know what, it, you know what I mean? Yes, like, yes. Like a lot of the houses up here are called like mountain industrial. So you, you get a little bit of like the, the wrought iron and the wood, but um, this one has, because we have so much rock, it has a lot of earthiness to it. 
It's been so fun seeing the transformation of this house. It's too bad we don't have time to see this cool bathroom or these custom stair rails or these baseboard covers or the pool. Caitlin's awesome for letting us into her home. Thanks, Caitlin. Oh, okay.